welcome to No Skips, the show where we talk about albums that we play and we don't skip any songs on. Today, we are going to kind of go in reverse order here, all right, because I'm going to be talking about, for the next couple episodes, one of my favorite bands, and this is one that makes me kind of emotional when I think about them. It's Linkin Park, okay? Linkin Park is the band we're going to be talking about for the next couple of episodes here as I look through some of their albums that are my favorites, okay? Uh, today, we are talking about Minutes to Midnight. Now, this album came out in May of 2007. And whether you have ever heard Linkin Park or not, and I'm going to assume you have heard them, you know this is the one that had a huge, huge song on it, What I've Done. And that song was featured in Transformers, which I love that film, by the way. Um, but that was a that was the end credit song. And it kind of captured how a lot of those uh, action adventure, you know, teenage movies were uh, in the early to mid 2000s where they all had a kick ass soundtrack. Um, and Linkin Park certainly did their part uh, on the kick ass soundtrack part for Transformers. In fact, I would say outside of the fact that it was a known entity, a known franchise in Transformers that everybody kind of loves. I think the soundtrack got people who weren't into Transformers into the movie, if you get what I'm saying. Um, but this was so much more than just a one song soundtrack thing. OK, this album came out in 2007, in May of 2007. It is 43 minutes long and it spawned five singles, five singles off of this album. Uh, the singles quickly. What I've done. Bleed it out. Shadow of the Day, Given Up, and Leave Out All the Rest. Now, for me, I always liked Linkin Park, but this was the album that really brought me in, if you get what I'm saying. Like before, I would listen to a couple other songs or whatever, and I'd, I'd enjoy it, but this was the album, because of the movie, that made me go, I really want to look more into that band. And the reason why I was saying earlier that it, you know, kind of makes me emotional when I think about Linkin Park is because I think about, obviously, the the death of their lead singer, uh, Chester Bennington. Um, for me, ever since Chester's death, and I don't know him on a personal level, but I'm a fan of the work he did and the work this band did, it is hard for me to listen to their music because I think about how much more cool stuff they would have been able to do in the future had he not passed away. I don't know if you guys can relate to that feeling or not, but it's like, oh man, like it's, it's, it's like you lost somebody in a way, uh, if that makes any sense. But this album is a great album and it's got really nothing but hits on it. My favorite song off this one is one of the singles. Uh, so I'm not going to go deep cut on this one, but I will say my favorite song that they did on this album was not the Transformers soundtrack song, What I've Done, but it is actually the song, Leave Out All the Rest. And that was one that, like I said, I gotta be in a certain mood to listen to that song because if I don't, it will sneak up on me and make me emotional. Um, and I feel like maybe I'm not the only one saying that, hopefully not, because uh, I'm kind of out on a vulnerable limb here. Uh, but What I've Done, uh, like I said, is a great song, but Leave Out All the Rest to me is just such an emotional song. Like it's a deep, deep song. Uh, and I really enjoy that. But again, I enjoy all the songs on this album. That's why I call it a no skips album. And if you have not listened to Linkin Park, I would say, check this album out. Again, you know, there are albums that came out before it and we will talk about those albums. But for me, I feel like they perfected the sound that they wanted and they kind of reinvented themselves in a way with this album. Okay, so uh, true Linkin Park fans, you know, Linkin Park fans that have been to all their shows and, uh, you know, kind of have more badges than I do, so to speak, when it comes to their fanhood. Um, first of all, I respect those folks, and they will probably point you in a different direction, a different album. But to me, Minutes to Midnight is a really, really good one. Uh, again, 43 minutes long. I think it's definitely worth the listen. Uh, you know, it might make you emotional. So maybe, you know, make sure when you listen to this album that you're not, you know, near a bunch of people that are going to make you feel embarrassed for being emotional. You shouldn't ever be embarrassed for being emotional. Um, but I would tell you, you know, maybe listen to this one in the car by yourself. You know what I mean? Uh, if you think it might 
make you emotional if you have that that type of connection. Um, but it's a great it's a great album. It really is. Minutes to Midnight from Lincoln Park. It is a no skips album. My friends who are Lincoln Park fans, hey, uh, did you skip any songs on this album? Be honest. You can you can let me know in the comments below. I won't judge you for it. Uh, if you didn't skip any songs on this album, if every time you listen to it, you're like, I got to listen to the next song and the next song. There are no bad songs. If you're like that, obviously you're in the same camp as me. Comment below. I'd love to hear from Lincoln Park fans. And hopefully with the algorithm and how it does everything, hopefully this video will find Lincoln Park fans, you know, so hopefully that'll happen. Uh, and uh, as I usually say to, to wrap these videos up, like, comment, and subscribe. If you're watching this on TikTok, I post it in two places. I post it on YouTube and I post it on TikTok. So do the TikTok thing, you know, whatever the equivalent of that is. I think it's like and follow. Anyway, uh, however you do it, I appreciate it very much, my friends. And uh, again, check that album out. Lincoln Park, Minutes to Midnight from 2007. Got more Lincoln Park, you know, material coming up for you here shortly on No Skips. But until next time, be good to yourself, be good to others in that order. I'll see you soon.